it's a big problem. Ronin Esports will be able to keep up with the momentum that Execration would start entailing in the late game. I'll be honest here, it's a very even draft, but I feel like the X factor here to look at would be that Veil, because that Veil blocks a lot of access for the members of Execration to just find their path into the backline, to find their targets. And Ronin Esports, all they need to do in the teamfight scenario is to position themselves well enough that they're not too far or too close to the tanks so that in case there's any trouble, a tank could peel or Ronin can just use whatever abilities a tank has to just apply the pressure and deal the damage and win the team fight from there. Mm, look at this uh, early invade by Execration, uh, stealing away the purple and Chakno trying to steal away this orange buff away from uh, Ronin, or at least buy some time as Chakno Sagitno will be responding immediately, Ooh. almost falling down. Savi uh, catching up, backing down, and yeah, this early invade for Execration, they really want to uh, deprive uh, Ronin any possibilities to spike up mm. in the uh, early game. So we're seeing here a side lane Benedetta with Festival of Blood and Execute. So now Justin has to play his cards right here and be careful because expect a lot of pressure to fall down here into the bottom lane for Ronin Esports because Execration, like I said, knows that Justin is going to be the X Factor here for Ronin. If they can pressure him early, which is that they're doing now, yeah. they, are, they could be able to turn it around. That could be their key. That could be their key. Justin manages to survive by the skin of his teeth. And yeah, it's way too early to tell, but... R the way the run in esports has been playing this is that they control the jungle well. Uh, I'm not sure if there was a steal that happened on the side uh, on their purple side, as silent and the rest of running esports stealing away the resources there over at the top side, bottom side. Chaknu and Mark will not be able to find a kill onto Justin. Great positioning by Naomi, just doing what tanks do for the longest time. Since time immemorial, hey, stay in that shrub and make sure that I can see if anyone's going to come and gank me here. Uh, if Protect Naomi wasn't me. there, most likely Justin would have gotten taken out of there. But now Mark and Kelra, the new, the debut duo of Execration, who had a great game number one, trying to find momentum here at the bottom lane. Oh, Kelra immediately popping the ultimate. That's the Thorn Rose to secure the first blood on the side of Execration. A big presence from Execration here over the bottom side. Pekka. Just tease Biv with the arrow and forcing the flicker out from uh, Chakno, actually. Electo final blow by Kelra to initiate that, but the final blow, of course, went to Mark with that Thorn Rose. Beautiful play there by the debuting duo of Execration. And so now the pressure is going to be into the bottom lane. Now, they, it is, they've, it, they've gotten to the point, really enough, is that uh, for Execration, they've gotten to the point where they can't pressure too much into the top seat because it's going to be hard to take down that Barretts. But we're seeing here into the bottom lane, Ronin trying to hold on as Execration continue to apply the pressure. It's a four-man rotation versus three. They're not going to be able to cut in the wave. Now, Execration spent way too much time there. They decide, okay, we're just going to try to go for that turtle. Instead, Ronin, let's see if they have the room to secure it, but they decide to clear the waves instead. Execration playing this real slowly. Ronin might still actually be able to steal this if Silent gets there, but nope. Execration secure the first Oh, Kelra will go and deal the finishing blow. Not enough, though. Force the flicker out, and Ronin managed to survive there. So no conversion for Ronin there for a turret just to trade out the turtle. Managed to stay out alive as top lane Sagitno, half HP and a dream, force the flicker out there. And force it back off. Mark, though, joining in the fray. Mountain Shaker is uh, going to get committed by Ronin. Savvy. Savvy, low on HP, slowly running away. We'll go for the Thorn Roast and will be taken out without any problems. Now, people are probably thinking, why didn't that Hayabusa help? Why was he just going for the farm? Okay, seriously, Hayabusa couldn't do anything in that situation. So, <laughs> it's a good thing that Silent just ran away there and left yeah. uh, left Savi to go down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, nope, uh, I don't want anywhere near here as the way of the dragon into the fettered air strike. Thorn Rose misses his mark, but Naomi <laughs> immediately regretted his decision there. But yeah, Hi if Silent decided to go back there, hey man, I'm going down with you. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> That's that exactly what could have happened. But then again, he's like, "Yeah, bro, I'll see you on the next life." Yeah, I'm the carry. You you respawn anyway. We'll be fine here, Justin. Uh, good read there. Almost taken out Sagitu, but Sagitu was able to recall away. So now what we're going to be seeing here from Ronin Esports for the next few minutes is to just really apply the pressure here into mid or top lane because that's where they have a little bit more of control towards and that's where the next objective is going to be. Unless they decide to just try to bait out Execration and to going into the bottom lane instead to try to defend that. Whoever oh, wins the here. Hurricane dance onto Kelra, but not a lot of follow throughs there onto Ronin. I'm not sure if uh, Kelra actually has Purify. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's Execute. Yeah. No, manages to flicker out there just in time though. Yeah, I think he was able to use uh, the second skill to 
Just be able to get away. Way of oh. the Dragon connects though, and a stun and the damage by Execration. Take out the Panda, so no more tank there, but no more Benedetta for Execration. One for one trade, Ronin. They might want to dis uh, look into contesting that turtle if they can. They won't be able to they break down this bottom lane tower, but turtle still goes to execration. Yeah, they wanted to trade out the turtle for the turret. Sure, it's a uh, it's a valiant effort there for themselves, but they could have at least tried to uh, go for a seal. That would have turned the tides here in the mid game at the very least. As the bottom lane waved the dragon onto Pekka, Pekka forced a flicker out. Chakno still chasing him down. Naomi too late to assist. Already uh, forced himself back. Hellrise is joining in on the fray. We have the we have Silent just farming out safely in the back lines, not really paying attention. Well, not not paying attention, but you know, I just want my items first, guys. Yeah, and running seems running seems to be playing it right. And this is the style of ML that we were talking about earlier, where the other members of Ronin will really just try to create space in the map, try to win opportunities there. And if they can't, they'll be fine because their jungler has just been farming this whole time right now. And the beauty about the lineup of Ronin Esports is they have a good four-man, even three-man lineup to contest with Execration. They just need to be careful here. And if any of them get caught out in a bad spot, by the way, the oh, dragon, they have Kara. to go back. Yeah, Kelra got caught, forced to get out of there, use the second skill, made it out alive, and that's a complete disengage. Uh, Naomi has always is always finding the Benedetta with the thousand pounder, the blender should. and the thousand pounder. Yeah, but not considering the fact that they haven't not forced out the ultimate, uh, the second skill just yet, just to escape as the uh, Mountain Shocker will be committed just to deter this uh, initial push by execration of the bottom lane. But they're going to be backing off. Federer strike uh, forces Naomi back. Lots of damage. Lots of damage indeed. As Agitnu is still trying to hold on to this top lane that eventually goes down. Faraga armor surprisingly still up. Just a sliver from going down. Exborg already has some his immortality, so that's pretty much all the only item that Exborg needs. But look at that no! first damage from the Veil! Telling the world this is why we pick Veil more often than not in the other regions. The burst onto Itumax. Goodbye, Captain. All things considered, seven minutes into the game, this has been r relatively close. Uh, 2,000 gold lead by Execration, but doesn't amount to much as Chaknu gets singled out by four members of Ronin Esports. Kelra singling out Justin, not a lot of damage. It's now being focused on by the rest of Ronin Esports with Pekka and Naomi. Managed to take him down. It's a 0 for 2 trade, and this is Ronin getting back their mojo as the Shadow Kill is committed. Sagitnu managed to survive there, barely though. Barely had to use the immortality. So in the second time around, if Ronin can f spot out a fight with the Exborg in there, they have a sure target. That Exborg no longer has that item that brings him back to life. Now Itumax is going to commit the feathered air track to clear the waves, and he might. Oh, that was way too close. <laughs> again, if Justin caught that out, uh, it would have been big for Ronin uh, esports. But yeah, again, we're seeing here the power of the veil and a good they rotation they by Exborg. Um, than, uh, questionable uh, rotate like, if it is a really uh, good rotate uh, because not, they're not going to be able to secure anything mm -hmm. off of that. But I just have to highlight as uh, as this uh, bit of a standoff, Mexican standoff happens in the river, and the thousand pounder blender catches the farsa, forces the flicker out, flicker in, says Naomi, and he takes down the farsa. Now Naomi might just pay the price here with that thorn rose. Sagitto comes in with the last insanity, fire missile. It's not going to be enough. Shadow kill enough to kill Sagitno as the rest of Ronin Esports collapse onto Chaknu, gets the knockup, Storm Rose on the back, immediately gets burst down, force the flicker out of there. Chaknu on the chase though. Speed is the name of the game here. Whoever gets to position themselves Kachow. in crucial... <laughs> <laughs> Whoever gets to uh, position themselves uh, quicker in the key spots here as the Electro final blow gets committed just to get out, if I'm not mistaken. But Ronin don't commit into that fight. Whoever positions themselves first wins and gets a pick off here as Chakto almost getting knocked up there. Good thing he was able to dodge that, but the Feathered Air Strike already committed. Justin down to 50. No one's going to full commit here just yet. They go for a soft reset. And this is Execration. We're seeing the side of Execration that is a little bit careless. Mm -hmm. We saw that time and time again in the bottom lane. They tried to go for ganks, but then they got knocked off. Sagitno, beautiful Jeet Kune Do by Chaknu, but the Hurricane Dance immediately committed to knock him down, forced the flicker out, not enough. He's going to get taken out. Feathered Air Strike mm -hmm. onto Naomi to try to seal the Litho Wonder or to try to zone the rest of Ronin Esports. Not enough. Naomi ha is showing up big here for Ronin Esports. The tank support playing sort of as a, like a tank carry right now for Ronin Esports. He's not getting the kills, but he's showing up in the mo and bringing the moments that lead to it. Yeah, 
And this is converting into a mid lane take by Ronin Esports. Sagitnu and the rest of Execration are trying to defend this. Mark, over saying his welcome, will not be able to secure that purple buff. Mount Shocker, once again, committed to see where the rest of everybody is. Chaknu, Blender connects, no follow throughs with a thousand pounder. Time and time again, you, at this point, a lot of eyes should be on Naomi right now and how he's just. Uh, Going around the map as he might have gotten a pick off on Chakra. No, Chakra able to get away, but that bottom lane tower goes down. Ronin takes it. And uh, this might just be a replay of what happened in game number two. This might just be exactly what happened during game number two, where Ronin focused on objective. Maybe it was Execration uh, being careless during game number two, and we're seeing it repeat itself right now. Uh, multiple engages in the bottom lane where they just audition as what well. we would say at the max force back. There goes the wave of the dragon, gets Naomi, but I don't think that's the target that he intended for. Chaknu low on HP. Here comes the last insanity. Sagitnu finds nobody in that fight. And now execution. It, it's a mix of yeah being careless, but then at the same time, I feel like they just didn't expect Ronin to rotate so fast. Now we're seeing a much snappier Ronin. We didn't get to see her cast game number two, but we did see game number one. And what we saw in game number one was Ronin just a little bit slow on the beat. Right now, it seems like Ronin has found the rhythm that they needed to take this game. Chakno still trying to single out Naomi here. It's like, a, yeah, we're both tanks. We're wow. going to face off against each other as the Hurricane Dash and the knockup secures the kill. On to Chakno. The rest of Execration, Mark. though. Justin, one HP and a dream, gets taken out. Finally gets taken out. It's a one for two trade here for the side of Execration. Slowly regaining the momentum, but the Shadow Kill takes down the Farsa. Now it is a three, four, th uh, three versus three situation. Sagitnu, low on HP, blendered in, thousand pounder, gets stunned, give it to Silent. And he's back mm, up. Here yeah. goes the oh. last insanity. Final Here goes blow. the final blow onto Silent, but the Shadow Kill just saves his life. Benedetta trades it out. It's now a 3 for 3 trade. Now down to a 2 for 2 as uh, Thorn Rose manages to survive. Mark running oh. away for his life. Quad movie. Shadow Kelra trying to be the sacrifice here for themselves. Will be going up against a 1v2, but Chakra is going to be rejoining Flay. Not actually finally going for the Jeet Kune Do. Saves oh, no. out uh, Kelra there. But he pays the price for that. Mountain Shaker, once again, into Max, standing all alone. Feather Dead Strike takes down Silent. And now it's the reset that they needed. And something that I want to point out about Execration here is that we didn't see Mark for a while because Execration sort of... Actually, no, not sort of. They adjusted their playstyle a little bit more to what Ronin was doing in the early game. They translated that a little bit into the mid so that Lancelot can catch up a little bit more to the farm, and which is why we're seeing Mark at the 3 0 and 2 stat line. But Ronin gets to secure that Lord. Yeah, it's, um, it's a bit of. I wouldn't say it's questionable for Mark to really just focus on farming up in order to catch up to uh, Justin here, but. If they did that in the early game, and, and s instead of mm -hmm. focusing on the ganks, focus on uh, giving Mark a lot of the economy that he needs to build up the items, he may just be able to burst out anybody from the side of mm -hmm. Ronin Esports, but we didn't see that happen. They're adjusting it now in the mid-game, which I feel like is a bit too late. Yeah, the problem here for Execration now is that, yes, they also have a good four-man lineup to go around, get pickoffs, potentially win a skirmish. But again, time and time again, we were saying Naomi just fought out Chaknu, who's sitting at 0, 4, and 2. And Chaknu's Cho, Chaknu's Wave the Dragon is absolutely key here for Execration to potentially win skirmishes and teamfights. Yeah, and this Lord... Um because of that team fight earlier on by Ronin, uh, gets secured by themselves. The Lord is being focused down as the top lane in every turret. Gonna go down. Tier 2 in every turret. Going down. Almost going down as well. And Ronin up for the siege. Hayabusa split pushing over to the bottom lane. It is uh, doom for execration this time around. It's gonna be the defense of a lifetime for themselves. Yeah, Ronin Esports. Let's see what the Akai can do here. Sagitnu so gets slowed, but the last insanity pops off, but just damage. avoid damage. Barely any damage at all. The Veil damage is going to miss as well, so Execration can breathe a little bit easier and they can reset just a little bit to defend. Yeah, but here comes a beautiful Hurricane Dance onto two. Chaknu gets the Jeet Kune Do onto three, but it's not enough. HPs are down at the Max Force to respawn a little bit early. He gets taken out. Savi, Daytona's welcome onto Sagitnu. Thorn the Rose onto Savi. And another last insanity here finally Ooh. takes down Savvy. HPs are low for Silent and Pekka as well because of that last insanity. Forced them back. 
good and news. this is Execration mm -hmm. still alive. Yeah, good news for Filipino fans there because Execration has a lineup that's good in the defense, especially if Sagitnu can just time his last insanity really well. And we saw because of the cooldown, it barely has any cooldown at this point in the game there. He can get it back here. And if they can just time it a little bit where they have a bit of insurance in the Farsa Feathered Airstrike, let's say Exborg used the last insanity already, but we have the Farsa to potentially help us defend a little bit more if they get a little bit too close to the base. If Execration can really just play that on the defensively really well, they might be able to turn this around. Oh, Naomi catches Kelra as well as the knockup there by Vale. And now it's Execration slowly trading things out. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Mountain Shocker once again committed. The only problem I'm seeing here for Execration is they can go for fights as long as, as, long as they want. All the lanes are pushed up towards their side, though. Mm -hmm. Top lane tier one, in, uh, top lane inhibitor turret is down. The minions push uh, flooding in towards the top side will overpower the side that's coming in from execration. Mm -hmm. They can't push out unless they equalize the equali equalize the uh, lane priority here. The biggest question as well for execration is. Do, will they have enough burst? Yeah, they have the Feathered Airstrike, but they're up against a Barats and an Akai. Uh, Akai, we don't know him to be as a very tanky hero, but people forget he is a pretty tanky hero. The Barats, even more so than that. The damage is the biggest question here for Execration at this point in the game. Good news, though, is that both carries, uh, whatever next big team fight we're going to see here is going to be a test to see which carry was able to farm up fast enough because they're both clean on the death sheet right now. 4-0-3 for Mark. 5-0-1 for the Silent. The difference maker here could be uh, Mark's killing spree to heal him up in team fights, which could potentially mean he has a longer lasting presence in a team fight compared to the Hayabusa who's too reliant on the skills to be able to avoid damage. And man, Execration, they're trying to go for the 18-minute mark win condition that they have, <laughs> but the way that I'm seeing this, it's Ronin hitting their 18-minute mark win condition for themselves as Naomi tries to go for the uh, blender onto Kelra. Not Tough. enough. Naomi trying to zone everybody up, gets the uh, purple buff just in time. Lord is up right now, and this is crucial for Execration to secure. If they don't secure this, this might just be GG for themselves. In the purple buff over there, we just saw a really good instance of the zoning and the damage that the Veil uh, brings into this matchup here, and which is why Execration is having a little bit of a difficulty actually contesting key objectives and going into team fights and trying to get the good pickoffs because their frontline divers, uh, their backline divers are having a hard time entering because of the timing that Veil vale has. The time Justin, the timing Justin has to pop off the skills when oh, needed. Chaknu is low. Sagitnu uses the last insanity. Mountain Shocker to deter a lot of members here from the Execration from even continuing the team fight. And uh, they managed to reset the Lord, not risking any cheeky steals from Execration. Lord still up though. Ronin hasn't full committed to it just yet. Good positioning by Justin and Savi right now. A uh, potential choke point here if they spot out any members of Execration. But here comes Execration. The retreat's a little bit too far, but they might just be able to make it to go for the defend. Yeah, Will they strike Takes down Veil. Vale. Not going to be able to secure the Lord, though. But Ronin may oh, just uh, pay the price. Chaknu gets caught out. Gets a beautiful Jeet Kune Do. Final catches blow. three. But the final blow catches three at the same time. Sai oh. Savvy takes out uh, Chaknu there. And he manages to die as he takes down uh, Benedetta in his place. And Ronin are just Ronin into this fight. They're Ronin in the deep right now. It's Execration because they are in the dark with what they need to do. Actually, that was a good attempt to try to do it, but Kelra's Electo final blow was just a little bit off, but like, like a pixel or two off to the right. That was a good setup and a good bait play potentially by Chakta because he saw him get caught out, but as he was running away, he went back real quick to get the knockoff from the Jeet Kune Do, which set up the Electo final blow, but again, Kelra was just a little bit off that could have been such a great play for Execration there, but they just need... Uh, again, they weren't able to do it, and now they are forced to defend here. Good news, though, is that it seems like Ronin aren't going to be able to make too much out of this Lord push. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, as the uh, Lord will be able to chunk out a little bit of the HP of that base. Uh, Naomi zoning everybody out just to get a little bit more uh, damage out there, as this is the final defense potentially for Execration. They are forcing Ronin back. Uh, they're doing a great good job there. Chaknu being the uh, sacrificial lamb just to dish out a lot of damage with the Jeet Kune Do. And Ooh. it's enough to deter the initial push, but this mid lane turn is going to go down. Silent himself is going to go down. It's a 0-1 uh, trade so far, but the inhibitor turret in the mid lane is going to go down. The Kelra gets knocked up. Damage from Justin is now uncontrollable. Mm-hmm. 
But again, the killing spree for Mark came in big there actually saved his life. He did have the immortality and eventually they would have gotten the kill on the Hayabusa. But Ooh. having that, all oh, the burst damage coming from the Justin is big though, but hoo -hoo, feathered wings. Able to save oh. Itumax, oh. but Chaknu is going to be able to get a pick off there onto Naomi, but Naomi uses the Hurricane Dash to pin down Chaknu. Chak Mamba looking for a miracle right now to get away, but here comes Mark, Mark? using the Phantom Execution to go in. He won't have his big burst damage. Here comes oh. the last insanity, the flicker onto Pekka, but Pekka right under tower execution, execration. I are not able to chase that any further. They are not going to be able to break down this mid lane tower as well as Ronan was able to clear out the way well enough, but Itomax oh. gets caught out, spotted out by the veil. The snipe from that twisty tornado itself. More twisty tornado? No, I just want to call it the twisty tornado. Okay, okay. We can go for that. We can go for that. For now. Yeah, for, for now. now. We'll go that for now. But while all everything, uh, everything was happening, Benedetta tried to equalize everything and start pushing in towards the bottom lane. Um... A valiant effort, but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. Not enough right now. And execration, though, they again, they still have the lineup to be able to defend this well enough as the glowing wand gets picked up here by Sagetu. So a little bit more damage coming out from him as well. They'll, they'll be able to use the last insanity to start off the fight, have a little bit of uh, ticking damage over time, and then eventually the, the last insanity will get knocked for up. Chaknu. I'm not sure why you want to dive that when three members of the rest of Ronin is right in front of you. And now inhibitor turn and mid lane is down. A lot of pressure on the side of Execration. Bottom lane is being eyed out. Look at the damage oh. output of the Fetter there strike onto uh, Justin. Force him out. Chaknu once again in the back lines gets the uh, Jeet Kundo onto Naomi. Uh, Chaknu really eyeing out Justin here. He is overseeing his welcome. He might just pay the price as Kelra. Gets pinned down by the Hurricane Dance. Knock Once up. again, gets the uh, Jeet Kundo. Gets eaten out alive by the Tonus Welcome. The damage output onto Pekka. Pekka low on HP. Chaknu chasing him relentlessly. Naomi gets kicked back. Will potentially get killed out. Chaknu. He still has the immortality. Shield. He has the immortality. He's still diving in. Sagitno with the fatal insa uh, last last insanity. insanity. <laughs> Takes him down. And now Ronin Esports are going to be forced to go back there. Good play there by Ronin, and especially Silent, spotting out the situation where Execration split themselves a little bit too far away from Itomax's Farsa. They're going to be able to secure the kill onto that backline mage there, but Pekka going down as well, but it's that's the Isan Shin. So Ronin still has their ace in the hole in that veil. Will the wind storm and the wind blow be enough? Will the combos be enough with all the wind that veil can throw out? would be enough to finally take down Execration, but Execration, they're still in this fight. They're still fighting back. They are carrying, they are one of the fighting prides of the Philippines right now, and they're doing everything they can to stay in this tournament, to stay alive in the yeah. MPL Invitational. It's, for Execration right now, it's not about, yeah, we Man. want to represent the Philippines. We're the best team in the Philippines. No, this is their tournament <laughs> life <laughs> on the line. So they're fighting as much as they can. <laughs> as Ronin... They're doing a good job keeping Execration at bay only on their side. We haven't seen any big pushes aside from uh, that bottom lane push, taking down the, finally taking down the tier, uh, focusing on the tier 2 inhibitor turret there for uh, the side of Ronin Esports. Cuts down the lane so that not a lot of pressure happens. As Justin. that happens, gets the wave of the dragon, gets oh, suppressed by Chuck. The Winter Trenchant keeps him up alive. Kelra, though. Uh, we'll try to get shot a lot of damage on the Pekka. Sakit with the back lines, he actually went out on the bottom lane. From the bottom lane, he went immediately to the mid lane. Now Sagitnu's gonna be paying the price, but he already did his job. The uh, immortality is gonna pop. Sagitnu forced him back off there. He is gonna get taken out by Silent, no doubt. Savvy. And it's now a uh, one for one trade. And the HP's are low on the side of Ronin and Execration as well, so we don't know which way this fight is gonna go, but Etomax is gonna fall down. That is the huge chunk of the damage that Execration mm -hmm. has, and it's gonna be hard for them to defend this. Oh no, that's the main tool that they can use here to defend, but Ronin Esports, they want to be safe. They are going to be going for the Lord. So by the time the Lord starts pushing and gets to the base of Execration, it'll be a full-on 5v5 winner-take-all team fight that what we're going to see there. Heartbreaking, though, for Execration. They spent way too much to try to take Chakno. down Justin, but Execration are going to try to contest this. Chaknu not going to oh, be able no. to get there in time, though. Shadow Kill already used by that Hayabusa and Chaknu. Chak Mamba cannot delay this any further. He has to go down as fast as he can, so by the time his cooldown timers are done, he'll have enough time to def defend with Execration. I, I don't think that was a right call to try to force Ronin to chase him. Only three members, so... Well Soon, four members alive to defend there for Execration. Without Chaknut to really set the place, this might just be GG and Execration will be eliminated. We will have, we have yet to see if uh, the defense is up 
for execration. Lord marching in on over towards the middle lane. It's all already there. It's only a matter of time before Ronin secures his game three. We're going to have to see oh. what's going to happen. Kelra gets predicted, gets knocked up, and forced to back off. Lord, though, already a quarter HP. They, find it, they finally uh, managed to take out the threat. They but the actual the threat here right now is Ronin and the minion waves. They're trying their best to clear out the minion waves as fast as they can. Mark forced to back off. Justin, low on HP. Oh. And that is going to be the game. Ronin Esports eliminates Execration and moves forward in their bracket here at the MPLI. The second placers of MPL Myanmar after a slightly disappointing game number one complete the turnaround sweep and eliminate fan favorite of the Filipinos, Execration, from the MPL Invitation.